boys and you can probably hardly even hear me. Had a lazy morning in the hotel, a little bit of a sleep in, um, and I've just been doing some work and stuff. We are heading out finally, it's about one o'clock here. We're gonna go and get some lunch first of all, and we're gonna to go to Ho Chi Minh City Square and possibly go up um, one of the buildings to get some cool views of the city. department store, it's making me feel all festive. Oh, look at it. Oh, I love it. Oh, and look at this one. Pretty. It feels really weird to um, to be in the sun and be boiling hot and see like Christmas trees and stuff, it doesn't kind of go in a way. It just doesn't go, like poinsettias and holly and ivy and stuff, it just feels weird. Oh, look at this tree. Bit of an odd one. Oh, yeah, New Year. We are on what I thought was like Saigon Square, but it's kind of not really a square. It's just, as you can see behind me, it's just like a big walkway that goes all the way down. Massive statue of um, Ho Chi Minh in front of me there. And a really awesome, uh, like, French colonial building behind. I'm not sure what it is at the moment. I'm going to have a little look. Here is the statue, and that is the building behind me. How awesome is that? Unfortunately, on Google Maps, it is written in Vietnamese what it is, so I don't actually know what the building is. Pretty epic, though. Again, an amazing building. We're just finishing up our lunch. I've just had a super exciting phone call. Have a nice. Yes, super exciting. This is all part of our top secret plan that you will find out about soon, but we are so, so excited now, aren't we? It's so exciting. I think in our lunch we are back out. We need to kind of get a little bit of a move on because it's gotten quite late and it's going to be going dark soon and the whole point of the day is um, going up this uh, building tower thing and we want to see it in the daytime. Actually, see it in the day and night would be quite good, so probably done good on the whole timing thing. They're just all of them on the pavement. They are mad. One of them has just gone whizzing down so fast and nearly whacked into Stephen. Well, that was a bit horrific trying to walk along there. We've made it to a little more peaceful spot. By the river, this is nicer. Oh look, there's cannons there. Yeah. of the Bitexo Financial Tower. Off we go, up to the top. Okay, we're inside 
inside the tower. I'm just trying to figure out where we go from here. You can pay like 200,000 dong to go up to the top, or you can go to the heli bar, um, the helipad bar, which is like at one level up, I think. Um, hang on a second, Stephen. So I think we're gonna do that and get a drink. I mean, drink to something like 150,000 each, but I'd rather do that, to be honest. So we have, so you have to, yeah, you have to stay on 50. Okay. Stephen can only go to 50. He's not allowed up there. I go. This is 50. Yes, 50. 50. Thank you. Uh, just Thank you. Wow. Okay, we've got here to the cafe. Look at these views of the city. Wow. Yeah. Right, I'm just gonna order myself a drink. I think Stephen is gonna go for an ice cream. They look nice. One's a dark chocolate, I think. Oh no, chili chocolate, look. Oh, Stephen's gone for his chocolate ice cream. in the vlog because we're just gonna chill out i'm gonna do some editing and some work i'm gonna relax for the rest of the evening um like i said before we've got to get up nice and early tomorrow i think 7 45 the bus um arrived we'll say the bus arrives the bus never arrived at 7 45 but you've got to kind of be ready at 7 45 the bus will probably arrive about half past eight won't it yeah. generally that's kind of what happens but we've got to be up ready downstairs in the lobby for quarter to eight so thank you for watching today i hope you've had a wonderful day whatever you've done and we'll see you tomorrow for our last day in ho chi minh city good night <laughs>